So we're out on a session. I'm in the flats with this dog, right? And um, <clears throat> I'm out on a session, and we're working it down, stay outside. And this this woman walks out of one of the restaurants that mm-hmm. was right there. And she looks, and she's like, you're with Miracle, right? I mean, you heard it, obviously. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. She's like, you saved my dogs. Mm. That's heavy. Now, that let's talk heavy. about why that's heavy, mm-hmm. right? Because everybody can say, oh, my dog was so out of control, and you saved them, right? Mm. This is different, right? This is a case in point of people recommending euthanasia too fast, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Morty and Pippa were two little dogs, like this big, <laughs> right? One yeah. was this big, like a little, like, I don't even know what the fuck he was, some sort of little schnauzer guy or some shit, right? Yeah. And then the other was a three-legged corgi, right? That was oh. Pippa, right? Okay. And um, whatever, she contacted me in a, a, a similar situation to all these other ones, right? Yeah. So, So these two dogs got in some fucking nasty fights with each other. And uh-huh. they're small, yeah. but man, these were fucking nasty fights, yeah. right? Like like this this fucking Morty fucked Pippa up a couple times, yeah. right? And the problem was when Morty would fuck Pippa up or get fucking crazy reactive towards shit uh-huh. and she would try to break it up, Morty would fucking turn on her ass, mm-hmm. right? And start trying to fuck her up over stuff. Oh, okay. Like this was like a, this was a tough fucking situation yeah. right where this is no different than what we just talked about we got a dog trying to go after fucking owners or this next situation i'm going to talk about of a dog trying to go after owners mm-hmm. right and <clears throat> she contacted a couple different local trainers i'm not going to name names of which trainer this was i'll tell you after we get off the podcast right, thank you <laughs> <laughs> but this trainer or, or, or the she reached out to this trainer to to figure out some options this trainer she told her she told the owner that the only way you can get past serious behavioral modification issues is if you do boarding trains, which is going to cost you whatever, seven or eight thousand mm-hmm. dollars, right? To do boarding trains with both of these dogs, mm-hmm. right? And even then, your success opportunity or your success chances are so low that you probably should just consider putting one of the dogs down. Whoa. This was this person's advice yeah. Yeah. after a 10-minute phone call. Yeah, that's... R- a 10-minute phone call. <sighs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, literally. Right? Honestly, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, we... There's some trainers that say that. You got to do board and trains for behavioral modification. I don't think that's the case. If anything, with behavioral modification, I think one-on-ones can be more beneficial because you got to get past this stuff yourself with the dogs. <laughs> yeah. And we need more time, right? I don't need four weeks. I need to 10 weeks straight of seeing you yeah. to hear the week-by-week progress updates to help if we're going to have any sort of fighting chance of getting through yeah, this. Yeah, for right? sure. I could tell this girl was on a little bit of a budget as she was working through things. So I hooked her up. We did a two-dog one-on-one package, and instead of making her do one-on-ones with both dogs, which generally speaking, we would do two-hour blocks of time. I told her, we'll do one-hour block of time. Mm -hmm. We'll just do our standard 10-session program, but you could bring both dogs with you, and Mm -hmm. we'll just focus on what we need to focus on with them, right? She wound up working with Michelle. This was years ago, guys. These dogs are crushing it. Mm -hmm. They're fine. They don't fight each other anymore. They don't try to bite her anymore, and they got past the issue. Nice. 